Welcome back, this is Nuisance Electronics and I repair anything electronic. Today I have a 55 uh, inch LG TV that I'll be having a look at. It turns on but and you can hear sound but it's just a black screen. The model number of this is 55UJ6200 and this is a very common issue that if one of the lights in the back uh, goes then it will not turn on. So I'm going to be showing you how to fix this issue. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is remove the back cover so that we can have a look at the circuitry there. It goes a lot faster if you have an electric drill. And then just carefully take it off the back cover so that we can have a look at the inside. With the back cover off, we can have a look at the internal circuitry there. We have our um, power supply board and then our main board right here. With this issue, we're going to be looking at the power supply board and look at the little ribbon ca uh, the cables that go to the back and this is your backlight cable it has a red wire the red wire is positive and the white wires are negative so I'm gonna be using my LED tester to test this out so that we can figure out if it is indeed a backlight issue so using my LED tester I'm just putting the negative to the white wire and the positive to the red wire and there's two sets of uh, strips in the back I'm measuring six vo 60 volts on one strip but the other one is not reading any other voltage there so that I know that this is a, indeed a backlight issue. So uh, to remove the, to get at the backlight, we have to remove the screen and that requires us to take off the bottom circuitry. There's a couple of flex cables and the speakers, just take that all off and take the, the wiring off. There's also your power, uh, your power button and there's also some Wi-Fi connectors and stuff that you can remove. There's this black film paper that goes over the bottom circuitry, so you just you can take off the black uh, uh, plastic, and then you want to loosen up the the uh, circuitry at the bottom. Flipping over the TV, we can prepare to remove the screen. And there's also a plastic bezel that has a couple screws at the bottom. And then around the outside, it's just clipped on, and then you can just pry up on the side to get the plastic bezel off. And it takes a little bit of work, but you just pry out and then up a little bit. You can just use your hand and then remove that plastic bezel. Now we can, we had, there's this metal, uh, metal bracket at the very bottom that we need to remove so that we can flip up this uh, circuitry on top of the screen to remove it. I have already removed the uh, metal bracket there and then I'm just flipping up the circuitry using some suction cups here. You want to use suction cups to remove it. It's, uh, it's quite delicate. The screen here just lifting up gently and putting it on a clean flat surface that I'm just using a towel. And then there's also other little plastic uh, bezel that you need to remove around the off. I'm just taking that off right now and then I'm taping the plastic layers. These are the filter papers, taping them together and then also putting them on top of the screen. Now we have access to all the lights at the bottom. There are these little plastic uh, holders that hold the screen up. So just removing them with the electric uh, screwdriver there, the drill, and then taking those little plastic things off. Now we can remove the, uh, the shiny, paper at the bottom of your TV and just removing that and there you can see the LED strips. Using my LED tester I'm just testing each strip and they're indicated the positive and negative on there as well so I'm just going through each strip and I went through them all and I only found one bad LED so they're all in series so if one LED breaks then the whole strip won't work which is unfortunate because Lots of people throw out TVs when it's just one LED or a couple LEDs. So I found the bad LED and then I'm just cutting off the bad LED, this the top. And this will give me some pads that I can solder on my new LED right here. I have a replacement LED. It's about a three millimeter by three millimeter LED. And it's one, uh, three volts and one watt. And I'm putting it on there and just using my heat gun just to, I'm using liquid solder. If you check my channel, I also have other techniques of how to do it, but I found that this is the fastest way. 
and just leaving the strips run on the board. Uh, things go a lot smoother there. So I'm testing it, it's working, and then I'm just using shoe glue to glue back on the filter cap there, and that disperses the light so it's uh, even on the front of your TV there. Testing out and looks good, the same as the other one. And there we go, we'll just turn on. You can see that the, the backlight is working now. We can actually see the picture. So that's how to fix it. Now, this is a very common problem. And the problem to prevent this from happening, we need to change the backlight settings. So if you scroll on down to the all TV settings, the events TV settings and go into backlight, this one was at 90%, it was way too high. So you wanna reduce the backlight you know, down below 50% and that will make your TV last a lot longer. If you're interested in repairing, repairing electronics, you can subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video then.